What are data products? You may have used them before, or maybe you're considering adopting them in the future. As with any technology, you're probably asking yourself a few questions. What exactly are they, and what do they have to offer? What problems are they designed to solve? Most importantly of all, where do they fit into the traditional ecosystem of big data, and how do they do things differently? All great questions, let's dive in. First, let's start with a problem familiar within the big data space, the divide between data producers and data consumers. In many organizations, responsibility is dispersed between those who produce data and those who consume it. This follows the division of labor needed to operate in traditional ETL pipelines alongside the more strategic business functions derived from organizational needs. Typically, data producers are responsible for understanding how to extract, transform, and load the data. This is often known as ETL and has traditionally required a complex set of technical skills. For this reason, data producers are experts on working with data, but not experts on the context of that data. This context changes from organization to organization and business case to business case. Meanwhile, data consumers are responsible for understanding how that data will be used to gather insights and drive value for the business. This division of labor has served as a blueprint for the industry for some time and allows different specialists to operate within the sphere of influence, working together towards a common goal. But there's a problem. The gap between data producers and data consumers requires a lot of time and energy to manage, and it doesn't always go smoothly. You might think of this as the data divide, and managing it costs businesses both time and money. Data producers understand the data itself, but without context. Data consumers understand the context, but not the data. Overcoming this requires an ongoing conversation between the two groups, causing data to change hands many times. This process is time-consuming, labor-intensive and can lead to confusion and a lack of accountability owing to the complex web of responsibilities across projects. In the meantime, the business questions that are supposed to be answered may have changed, leading to inaccurate and unhelpful insights. This is where data products come in. They help overcome the gap between data producers and data consumers by empowering consumers to do some of the work previously done by producers. Let's look at how they do this in more depth. At their heart, data products are an innovative, modern way of creating packaged data sets to use by downstream consumers. To achieve this, they are both curated and designed to create value. Let's look at how. Curated data sets allow data products that are demand-driven and built for a specific need. They are typically made up of three components. The data itself, the metadata surrounding it, and the access patterns needed to access that data. Data products create value by presenting data in a way that makes it more useful and more accessible. Importantly, these data sets are the same ones used by traditional methods, but they're much less complex to operate. This allows non-technical teams, typically data consumers, to take a more direct role in managing data themselves. Because these teams know the business context best, this eliminates many of the complexities associated with communicating across the data divide. In the past, data pipelines existed as a complex patchwork of different technologies, working as a kind of relay system moving data through the different stages until complete. Data products bundle all of this together and allow users to interact with their data as discrete, independent entities. This means that each data product has all of the structural components to do its job as a discrete object. Access to the data product should give you all of the information you need to gain insights. There is also a social dimension to data products. They are typically created for others, shared widely, and used across teams. As such, the collaborative way in which we create them, deploy them, and interact with them is one of their defining characteristics. Taken together, data products are a powerful tool. They help overcome the data divide and help address significant organizational bottlenecks. Perhaps most of all, they help businesses derive greater speed and agility from the data they use. This enhances one of the core reasons that data exists in the first place.